Good morning. Okay. Are you on already, Mr. Carlos? Good morning. Welcome to the Entrepreneur for Christ class. Thank you for coming early and staying healthy as you come to class. Thank you. Let's open in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time where we all can meet together, Lord, in your presence. I thank you for your tender mercies and bless this class, Lord, as we strive to go forward and learning all the wisdom that you have for us, Lord. Help us to be healthy and strong, and I pray for the families that aren't here, Lord, we just lift them up. And for those trying to find the class, I just pray that they find us here at Skyline Church in La Mesa. I thank you again for our speaker, Byron, who has given us a tremendous amount of information in the past, and I know he's going to give us more again today. Just help us to understand and comprehend what he has for us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And with that, I invite Byron to come to teach us a little more about planning. Thank you. Let's uh, put on my little R2D2 thing here. Let me hope it's uh, just too loud. Can you guys hear me? Pretty good. Okay. So, obviously, uh, brand new year, and everybody's got some brand new goals and some, some brand new ways of thinking sometimes. A lot of times they say uh, most of us give up on our uh, New Year's resolutions and things by the 12th of the month, right? And so, push it. No, I think it's, it sounds like it's on. Just not that loud. Okay. But uh, we give up by the 12th. It's over, right? It's a wrap. We, we have some goals, we have some ambitions, and then life, right, settles in and we change our mind and we change our strategies. And so let's talk about you guys are very familiar with what I teach. I've added like maybe one or two slides, just I want to hit a couple areas. But those are all the disclaimers, right? I'm not a tax professional. That's not my lane. I'm not your financial advisor. Go see them. They have securities license. That's not my lane. I'm a financial professional, licensed across the United States in 27 states. So that's me. And so you guys knew my history uh, in 2021, obviously. That was me back in 2015 saying goodbye to the United States Navy. Right? Now I'm a financial service business owner. Obviously, you know the backing of who's, who's backing me. A gun up there on the top left in the Netherlands. One of nine too big to fail companies for the planet Earth. One of nine, right? Uh, and then you have Transamerica, World Financial Group in Atlanta. And then I'm part of a team called Pinnacle Elite in the Silicon Valley. And so you guys know what I do, right? We've talked about this before. There's no one really new here, but on the left side, we help our clients get the power of choice, right? All these different financial things we do in the marketplace. The TSP rollover, 401k rollover for the school teachers, 403 rollovers, right? State employees, 457s, it doesn't matter. Obviously, life insurance, so important for the family foundation. When we start talking about a family foundation, the family's resting on that life insurance. Hopefully, they have it. Then, obviously, long term care, hot topic in this country. You own it, believe it or not, right? A lot of folks think that the government's going to get a tab later in life, but it's on you, you and your assets, right? And that's something that we, if they say it's acute. It's acute in the marketplace. People have no idea they got that burden coming to them, right? And then obviously college plans, we're, we're the non-traditional college plans, right? You got 529s, you go to the bank, they'll tell you about 529s, and then that money's stuck. It's going to go to college. So we show people the alternatives that the wealth can use for college planning. Then obviously index universal life, fixed index strategies, right? These are the ones where you can't lose money, your money's protected, the principal's protected, you get guaranteed rates of return, right? And then obviously executive bonus plans, legacy plans, wills and trusts, and all of that stuff. And so these are just some of the companies that we work with and we introduce our clients to. Most of them don't know, they, they seem like a, a 
30 second commercial. They know a little bit about them, but they don't know what they bought the consumer. So we're non captive. This is what keeps me in this business right here. And uh, I think you guys may have seen these photos before, but if you look at these hospital images, this is all family for me, all in ICU, all under 30, right? This is my nephew. He's, he's 15 now. That's my oldest son. He's 30 now. And that was my three-year-old at the time granddaughter. Soon as COVID kicked off, right? 2020, she came down with type 1 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, chronic illness, lifelong illness, right? And so that's one of the reasons I'm passionate about what I do. And then this article right here was my, his sister, her sister was killed on the 15th up there by Yermo. Her car broke down January 6th, 2018, 5 a.m. in the fast lane. And she got out of the car, got her little two-year-old, three-year-old uh, nephew that was with her out of the car, and had a 20-year-old uh, stepbrother with her. And they were over in the bushes peeing, and she was at a call box. But her car was still everywhere. And then the rest of it, right? Tragedy, total, total tragedy. And so this is part of the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate about what I do. And so that's our crusade, no family left behind, right? There's a lot of um, well-respected financial companies in America that do, do not help middle America at all. It's not in their business plan. I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, one of the commercials that I watch, like Fox Business Channel, you know, CNBC, Bloomberg, and this is one commercial. I'm not going to call it the company, but the commercial says, if you have $500,000 or more, give us a call. Mm -hmm. Think about the population of the United States. Mm -hmm. People don't have that kind of money. Mm -hmm. That's on the commercial, and it runs weekly, right? And so we're about no family left behind. We're showing family A what the family B is doing, right? And that's a powerful, that's just powerful. And so, most people don't plan to fail to do so. Uh, I want to get into, you guys remember the rules of, uh, of the winning game I kind of talked back in 2021? Rule of 72, compound interest, right? It's available. Most people don't know where to find it, right? How money grows and then how money gets taxed. That's the three rules of the money game. But then as you accumulate your money, right, you're in an accumulation phase, are you going to protect the money or are you just going to leave it out in the marketplace? And then when you get to, dis to distribution, do you want it to be all of yours or do you want to keep sharing with third parties, the fourth parties, called the IRS, right? Mm -hmm. and these, and these <laughs> you know, so, so what we say is that uh, your money becomes theirs. Yeah. The oh, IRS. The IRS. You don't want your money to be theirs in taxation. And, and when you, especially when you're up in age and you're out of the workforce, mm. it doesn't make a lot of sense to share 40% of your money with them. Oh. So let's talk about it. Rule of 72, Albert Einstein concept, right? He's the guy who could take complicated matters and he made them simple for everybody to understand. So what this rule says is, if you're gonna earn 1%, you walk into a bank, if you're lucky, they'll give you 1%. If you give them about 150,000 or more, they may give you like one and a half percent. But I'm serious too. That's, that's like fact. But uh, one percent, one goes into 72, 72 times. So it would take 72 years to your money to double. But think about the point zero zero one two five point zero zero that they offer. Anybody here know Moses? Is that 72, 72 years? 72 years. So you divide whatever your interest rate by 72? Yeah. So you can get 10%, it'll double in seven years? 7.2 years, yeah. 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 And so when you when, when you think about this, guys, it's not, it's funny, but it's not funny. Only zero, zero, da, 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 da. That's a thousand years. What's the current rate of the bank right now? It's about 0.06, no. right? That's and, 140 years? Yeah, and then on the bank, on, on the bank CDs, the national average is about 1.63. Bank CDs. Right now, there's about 6 trillion, with a T, sitting in bank CDs and bank savings. Gee, what? 6 trillion. Gee. And that's what, because a lot of folks that are conservative, 
They just want the money to save them, right? They just spark it in the bank. And uh, that's our crusade is to teach them what we to do. But imagine if you're getting 12%. You see how fast it doubles every six years. They're not very normal, right? You can't really expect that in the marketplace. But our goal is to show you how to get between 6 and 12%. We have the plans and we have the companies that do that. And then how many grows, right? Fixed variable index strategy. Um, Warren Buffett's favorite index strategies. You can read about Warren Buffett and what he says about index strategies. But what is an index strategy? Basically, in our industry, what it does is you get to participate in some of the growth of the market, none of the negative. None. It's totally pulled out of your, out of your program. So, for example, if this line here represented a 15% growth in the market, this line might represent 12. You don't get 15. They keep 3%. Whoever you have your program with, they keep that top three to protect you on the bottom. You never get a negative return. So that's how the index strategy works. Like this month when I go in and I'm going to be speaking with 9,000 employees, the question is, have you looked up the definition of variable? By definition, right? If it's unstable, unreliable, unpredictable. Mm. Unstable, unreliable, unpredictable. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? But what, what it is, is it's okay to have some risk out of the market, right? Just take, take, take chance with your money. But if you have 90 to 95% of your, your retirement portfolio there, that could be a problem. And we have tens of millions of families that are the proof. But if you, if I was a car salesman and you came to me and I said, well, that great car there, ready to go, keys and ignition, right? Batteries charged. But let me tell you something, that car right there is unstable, unreliable, unpredictable. Are you leaving the parking lot? Oh, 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 right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Mark's good, Mark's good. But that's what we're, we're facing with. So we're just educating, right? And let folks make their own decisions. Still, but at least you have the education, right? And then let's talk about the distribution, right? So tax now. You, you open up these accounts, you make a little bit of money, you're going to get a 1099. So every time you're trying to grow the money, you're getting taxed annually, right? And then you're taxed later. We call it the tax procrastinated, tax deferred, tax delayed, tax postponed, tax put off, right? When has procrastinating ever surged? Mm -hmm. Do you see our government going after taxes right now? They got problems. They're coming after your money. They have major mm -hmm. problems. Major problems. Major right? um, there, yep, there's a video out there called uh, The Power of Zero. I send it to all my agents across the United States. It comes with blue red too. And it's all, talking all about taxes. All about taxes. And uh, the, the former GAO of the United States, the comptroller, the head CPA of the United States is part of this video. The power of zero, right? You got to pick it. It's called the, the tax train is coming. That's the subject, right? And so, and then tax advantages. These are plans where you can open up these programs. You pay your taxes today, no taxes in the future. Taxes in the future. And so most of the employees have never heard of this stuff other than a Roth. And then most employees are kind of stuck here. It's almost automatic now. They don't even have to think about it. As soon as you, you, you get the job, they enroll you in this thing. You don't even have like an option, mm. right? And so we're coming in, we're talking private plan. You're going to build your own private plan when we get done. So here's, we talk, let's talk about it. This is something I came up with, I'm going to show you guys. The cards are stacked against you. A, a lot of things you can't control here, guys. Market loss risk, right? Taxation risk. Inflation. Inflation is off the scale right now. Sequence of returns, right? Legislative risk. Forced retirement. Mm. That's not in your control. Company says, hey, we're right sizing, downsizing, smart sizing. And you hundred people are on the list, mm. right? We got. We can give you about six months, but you got to figure it out, right? That's out of your control. Low rates of return in the bank. We already talked about that. Outsourcing your job you used to have, right? Because cost of is is terrible. You got to you got to use leverage technology. 
Yeah. I just see it all the time. Oh yeah. You it's, think this chart? I mean, it's, this chart. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm about to sit with like nine thousand employees, and I want to get my business right. Um, suppressed wages, right? Some companies can't afford, like you just mentioned, they can't even afford to give you a pay rate. We saw it in the pandemic in the first two weeks. Companies were folding because they were already struggling, and then the pandemic brought it to life, right? Um, advancement in, in, in AI, advancement in tech, advancement in uh, robotics. You can't control your supervisor's attitude, your manager's feelings, right? The owner's salaries, right? That's an uproar right now. Countries going bananas because CEOs are making like 51 million on a meeting, right? People going berserk behind this stuff. Women make 82 cents on the dollar. Boy, I take offense to that too soon. Yeah. Generally, men have much high risk jobs. Right. By the way, look at the nurses, they make way more than men. So just that's a mm. this is general. That's a bad. I just take offense to that. Yep. It, it is what it is, because you got to think about. Social security, it depends on the industry. Right. But if you think about generally, social security, they earn less because they earn less throughout their years, right? Mm. They take off work more often than the husband. Mm. There's all kinds of stats that back this up, right? For, for, on a national level, generally speaking. Potential for divorce, how does that change the dynamics of the family, right? Mm. That, that's stuff you can't control. Politics, haters, gossip, the overall economy, the pandemic. Loss of a pet, right? There's a lot of little things that happen in life every day. Loss of what? 50 million people lost their jobs in the pandemic. Oh, that was speak. 50 million. Out of work. Out of work. No control of them. Begging for a job. Looking, losing hope, right? Losing their mind. The unthinkable tragedies. We know about them. I have a few of my family. Disasters, right? With all this going on, you still got to get your finances in order and you got to take control. A lot of folks think it's the job and the government. No. You have to take control of your finances. That's good. You have to. That's good. You have to. You just got to start thinking private. 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 I'm in control. I'm going to do this private. Right? As, as best you can. And so I talk about some things you can control, my man. Right? right? <laughs> How much you save. We know we have a saving problem, right? Folks are not saving enough. Um, if, you know, you somebody sit with me and say, I say, well, how much you think you made in time? He said, a bucks. And then how much you put away right now? He said, like, okay, so then how much do you have saved right now? Well, like sixty thousand. How old are you? I'm fifty five. Right, not gonna work. You have to adjust your spending habits, right things you can control, and start saving more. Preferably some place where you don't lose money after you get the game, right? Index right. We advocate for the index range. Um, whether you lose as you say, right? We talk about that. We are hypersensitive to losses in accounts. That's how we, we operate our architecture company. We don't want to see you make a million bucks and then give 300000 back. We want you to keep that going, keep oh, that money, money, right? What causes do you give to? You can control that, right? Whether you'll be a volunteer, your faith, the highlight of that, because that's important. You know, we're under the gun. There's a lot of pressure on our society right mm. now, right? To cave, cave in on your faith, right? Mm. Um, your attitude, your actions, your environment, your associations. These are associations. I don't go into certain associations that I used to be a part of at all. <laughs> I, I, I uninvited myself to those associations, right? I can't be around right? Um, <laughs> what, what you consume, what you smell every day, right? What smells good? Um, what and who you listen to, right? I, I tell young people all the time that they gotta purge their music, right? What goes in? That's part of your environment. That music or those videos, those YouTubers, all that kind of stuff. Purge it, right? Yep. And then how you treat people. Our founders are big on character-based leadership, right? You gotta be a good person. All the time. You can show you don't cave on your character. It's too important, right? Principles never change. Right? And then pre-plan. Pre-plan and execute, guys. Pre-plan and execute. Now, God will change some things, right? You can't control the weather or things like that. That's out of our control. But pre-plan anyway, right? Mm. I want to remind you of something. In a matter of less than a month, 
for 2020. $8 trillion was wiped out of the world. Oh, $8 trillion. That's why we're hyper sensitive to losses. Because people are aging. They're turning 55, 60, 62, 53. Talking about, I got one more kid going, two more years, and I'm done. And then these things happen. From the top of February, this was about March 19th when I took the picture of this on my phone. A trillion was wiped out of accounts. This is this is this year, right? 2020. Two years ago. It was just about two years ago, about two months, right? Where is your money? Where's your money? Is it in that? Is it in that <laughs> unstable, unreliable, unpredictable? Uh, is, is is the bulk of it there? It's not wrong with having a little bit there, but not the bulk, right? And then, uh, what what did you do different since this time, since March 24? <laughs> Have you changed anything? Have you moved some assets? Are you shifting? Are you listening? Are you reading the books? That'll show you how to do this stuff, right? Big reminder there. So why are we called? Why do people come to my office? Why do we get calls? Why are our agents, why are we recruiting so many people to handle this service, right? It's because these accounts right here are all sitting vulnerable. Even though Roth is a great plan, because it's tax advantage in retirement, it's still subjected to loss, right? And so we are here to show you something really, really, really slick. All right, 401k, you can read all the articles. Ted Benna, the guy who came up with the 401k says it was a disaster. He really feels bad about it. You can see a lot of articles on this guy, Ted Benna. He, he said it, it just didn't work out. If he could do it all over again, he would have never, he would have came up with something different. Right? So what do we show people how to do? If you listen to radio like I do, you'll hear it a lot of times, you'll hear things like, we can guarantee you 10%, never get market loss, yada, 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 right? And so on and so on and so on. All they're talking about is a fixed index annuity. But they'll never say annuity on the radio because you won't call them, right? You'll never call them because annuities have been beat up for like decades because of the way they were designed in the 70s and the 80s. But the modern annuity, something very, very modern, is called a fixed index annuity, FIA. And so if you were to compare where your money's at right now today, this is why our firm is ringing off the hook. Guarantees no loss to your principal. So you take an insurer like Athene, Nationwide, Transamerica, doesn't matter what you say. Here, here's a million bucks. That's what you get in return. No principal loss. Guaranteed rate of 6% or more if you're over 50. Right now, for example, with Athene, 10%. Nationwide, 10%. Um, Guaranteed rate of return, you get the index strategy, right? It locks in your gains as it grows. And then it has a pension, we call it for life, because it's four things tied to it. Like low cost guarantee, especially if you're a business owner. That's a way to incentivize to bring in key people, offering them long term care uh, coverage and things like that. It has a death benefit, you can pass it to your spouse if you're married, things like that. That's part of the pension for life. And then the signing bonuses. Last year, we were giving clients 30%, 20% signing bonus, 10% annual, guaranteed. Wow. Guaranteed. They lock in for 10 years, that money doubles. So if you have a million bucks, come 2031, you got over 2 million. Seriously, you have 400,000, come 2031, you got over 800,000. Is there any minimum? There are minimums. Most of the uh, big insurers, $10,000 $10, is like the entry level, right? If you don't have 10,000, Pretty much can't get you an annuity, right? Let's just get it in. The same question on Marcus Park. To get in that FIA, what's the minimum entry? 10,000 with most firms. A lot of firms are over 25,000, but the majority will let folks in. Okay, so I just want to show you guys that. This is one of the reasons our firm will ring up. And then here's some of the benefits. I just talked about a few of them, but 15 benefits, and you're welcome to take a picture of this, of the FIAs. Lock in your games. Guaranteed principal. It's still deferred, just like your 401k, 403bs, all of that. You're still you're kicking the can down the road. That's one thing I don't personally like to issue for. You're deferring all those taxes, right? So, uh, monthly income for life. You got two options with the fixed index annuity. You, you accumulation, you say, I'm not worried about lifetime income. Or you, you pick, I want a, I want a lifetime income. Pick one or four together, right? When you go to a 
20% bonuses, real deal. How do they do it? People say, how can, you, how can they give me uh, 20% on a million? How can they give me 200,000 day day one on this? It's called pool money, right? If 100 people come in with a million, how much does your insurer take on that? What's 100 times a million, right? 100 million. So they can give out a 20% bonus. It's nothing because it, it's not even. Wait a minute. So this FIA program is available to many companies. You're a broker and you would form it out to these, uh, these companies that offer the FIA, correct? Yep. I'm trying to understand. Yep. Based on your needs, based on your timeline. So Some people can't go out 10 years. Like right. Black and Pride, I mean, said it, right? Mm -hmm. So you would go and triage it and say, okay, based on your needs, this is the FIA program from this company. How many companies offer FIA? A lot. We work with 77 companies. But how many offer this? I don't know the exact number. There's a lot, right? Because we don't deal with all the companies. We deal with only the A rated companies. You still got B rated. See, that's not my name. How, how many are A rated? We deal with 77. Yep. Yep. And so, did everybody get a picture of this? Just want you to see this. This is a real deal, right? This is for training purposes. So, this is good enough for you, but yes, it's okay to take a picture. And so, wrapping things up for me, this is what we do. Question about the last slide. Um, what about the taxes? You got to pay your taxes. So, okay. when, you, when you get, when you start taking, can you read that? Yep, yep. Yeah, I just asked about the slide about the tax implications. And then your taxes are paid at distribution. At distribution. So, for example, if you had a foreign pay, you said, Byron, I got $150,000, i am ready to try this FIA. That money goes to what's called a 1035 exchange. So, if you sell a house and you go to buy a new house, you do 1031 exchange with your house, right? With your property. In the insurance financial industry, it's called a 1035 exchange. No penalties, no taxes, no nothing until you take distribution. So it's just like forward pay. So to go back to that, yep. when you take distribution, what if you've invested it, but it's the distribution <clears throat> excuse me, is going to, like for example, uh, one of your children, are they going to pay taxes based on what their earning income uh, bracket is at that point in time? Uncle Sam will get it. Right? <laughs> and he's waiting. We've well, never had him, but we know, you know what I mean? He is waiting. There's trillions sitting on the sidelines. So if you, if you think about like how our government is printing money and printing money, they know how big trillions are sitting in these accounts. Whether it's an FIA, 401k, IRA, they're sitting there looking at all this money that has not paid a penny in taxes. Right? They're going to get it back. I understand they're now looking at. Uh, Cryptocurrency taxes. They are looking at taxes. Taxes, right? Taxes. Taxes, man. Yeah. It's about taxes. So, what do we do? Our number one product is not a product of any company on earth. It's not a product at all. It's our time and our service. But what we do is called a financial needs analysis. Some firms call them retirement reviews. Some firms call them portfolio reviews. You know, everybody's got a different term for it, but it's called a financial needs analysis in our firm. And we look at these six areas, right, of opportunities. Do you need to increase your cash flow, right? Earn additional income, learn to manage your expenses, learn to get out of debt, right? Debt is just drowning people right now. Some have got a delay or postponement on it for a few months, but you're going to have to start paying up pretty soon. Uh, prepare for college planning. I talked about that earlier. We are the alternative to the 529, right? 529 is his plan, but that money is going to go to college, whether your kid goes to college or not. That money's going to college. You're going to pass it on to somebody, right? That's not the way to manage money too, too good. And then emergency funds. We already know the situation with businesses and personal people just didn't have the money for the right for these emergencies, like pandemics. So we'll show you how to deal with that. And then proper protection. Again, the, 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 the family needs to be protected. Your ability to earn future income, you are the asset. You start there. And that's called life insurance, right? Um, a lot of folks say, I don't need no life insurance. I'm a multi-millionaire. Kind of billionaires have life insurance, right? It's all about leveraging that insurance for all that money. 
right? I'm gonna save pennies on the dollar. I'm gonna give up a little milk in my process. The fruit here, the potatoes in the farm. Yeah. I'll give up a little milk not to lose all my cows, right? You can come get some of this milk. It's just leverage, right? You're leveraging the insurance company. And then, you know, if you're going to build wealth, if, if that is your personal goal, how about we preserve it and your family gets as much of it as possible and not share it with all the third and second? Get parties out there that are going to get access to your wealth. Because we say it like this if you don't build even like a will or an estate plan, you're, 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 the person who's going to represent you is going to be down at the county. Okay. Mm, by the way, a lot of people do not have wills, folks. Yeah. And you should have a living trust. Yeah. Once you want to give Uncle Sugar, uh, <laughs> you know, no, it's serious, folks. I can't tell you. Get it. If you own a house, you should have a living will. Uh, it's basically a living trust. Absolutely. It's ch chunk change on the dollar. Okay. <laughs> One more time. Folks, this is, it, it's basically a piggyback on Byron. Do not give Uncle Sugar the taxes when you can get a living trust. Okay, you want to have a living trust if you have any real estate. If you own your house, get a living trust because you bypass probate. If not, if you have a house, you have to probate it. And attorneys, those, those whatever, they're going to get a piece of the action and the state will get a piece of the action. Second of all, you need to have a will. If you do not have a will, if you go intestate, folks, that means the government will dictate how that money is going to be distributed. Um, it's not legal advice, but oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, we talk about that, and there's two of them that we see the most in, in, in our firm. Uh, and it's dealing with like folks have a lot of assets, right? They got a lot of wealth. And you're probably familiar with one too, but it's called a slash, and then you got island, right? So, we just say we're in the middle. Like if you th think about an island, right? It's a, it's a living trust, but it's insurance is in the middle, right? Irrevocable living trust. We're just in the middle. So you come see us and we give you the product, and then the attorney puts the words all together, and then it's done, right? And then a slap would be like a spouse lifetime access trust, right? And so you, all these folks are out here looking at the government that's coming for these taxes. What do I do? How do I shield my family from these taxes? And you open up a slap, right? We're just in the middle. And so that's what we do. We don't know what's important to you, right? You've got to tell me, right? When we sit down and we go through the numbers and we go through all of them, your entire finances. And so that's our number one product is our time. And then trying to get you a whole plan of holistic and honest. Look at your life cycle, right? Life cycle, 18, 19, 20, 21. Years out, right? What may happen, you got to be prepared. Because I, I asked somebody this the other day, I said, You say you don't need life insurance? So let me ask, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> Did you call your siblings and say, Hey, I'm, I'm a little short on my mortgage? Can you pick up my tab? <laughs> One month? How about two months? How about three months? How about for eternity? Oh. Right? Because when you check out, you're gone, right? There's no, there's no do overs. So don't say you don't need any life insurance. You know what I mean? There's no do-overs. I, I have four brothers, and they're all living today. I cannot pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm a little short on my rent. Mm. And my wife's sitting here, and I checked out. I went to see the maker of all, and I can't pay the rent. Can you, can, can you, can you take my mortgage? Not going to happen, right? So protection is key. And so that's one of our goals for all for our clients, right, is to get a million dollars in legacy put together and a million plus in retirement, tax-free if we can, right? Shifting things around, that's what we do. That's my last slide. A million in legacy, a million in tax-free retirement. That's our goal. Any questions? Yeah, any last questions, thank you. And, and on Zoom, too, if you have questions, just pop it in the chat line, please. Bank, and I, I, I missed the that. What, is, what does that mean? Private bank, if, if you look at uh, a lot of folks, we talk about what would the Rockefeller do? Right? You guys heard that name before? Rockefeller, yeah. You still see it on commercials, paid for by the Rockefeller Foundation, all that kind of stuff. Um, 
Family bank is, is, is how you set up and how you will, right? You start to build your own bank where you can start giving yourself, your family, your own loan. There's no more going to the bank. You call the insurance and say, hey, I've got 200000 in that IUL. I need to put some money on. There's no, are you 59 and a half or what are you doing it for? Doesn't exist, mm. right? Because your money is tied to, to that insurance debt benefit. And it's collateralized. They say, oh, wow, you got 200000 got a million dollar policy. When do you need the money? It's, I'm telling you, it's that simple. Oh, it's oh, IUL? IUL, index universal money. A book to pick up if you can, audio or actual, it's about this thing. Literally, this thing is called Money, Wealth, and Life Insurance, right? That's the, the, the main title of the book. And then it's, it, the subtitle is How the Wealthy Use Life Insurance as a Tax Free Bank. That, that's a book. Can that's a book. That you can get an audio too. Uh, money, Wealth, and Life Insurance. That's the main title of the book. How the wealthy, not the rich, not middle class, how the wealthy use life insurance as a tax-free bank. Um, speaking of life insurance, I talked to you one time because I'm getting ready to go into business and I've been in business before and there's a chance I'll have multiple businesses. And when you have businesses, you always stand the chance of getting sued. Oh right. It's a sue happy world. And um, it's easy money for a lot of people. At one time when I talked to you, Byron, you mentioned how money in a life insurance policy <clears throat> couldn't get tapped if you were sued or something along that civil line. Suits. Civil, suits. civil suits. Could you just elaborate a little bit on that if you hadn't already? Basically, the IUL, for example, right? They, they got United States tax code approved by Congress and the IRS that protect this money, right? Protect you from civil suits, uh, link judgment liens, right? Wage garnishments, it's all fine because that's your life insurance. If you go to court, only thing you have to disclose is it's a life insurance policy, right? But that's what you have to disclose. Yeah, it's like retirement's mm -hmm. life insurance. You can't wage garnish. Right. So what do you have? Well, I have a million dollar life insurance policy. What's in it? Well, that's my life insurance. In the discussion, I like to show, and I don't have it here, but I usually show people to find some. And who knows who OJ Simpson is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's OJ Simpson? OJ Simpson owns a family in uh, Oakland, not here in Portland. He's not, but he does. He owns a family. Okay, he owns a family like 71 uh, million, right? So when he got released from prison, he got released from prison. I have a picture from the news. I, I like taking pictures when I watch the news, but he would take some of court, right? And he got released the same night as that shooting in Vegas, where the man was shooting at the Indian grass. Mm -hmm. The same night. So the, the news was going to be about him, but it switched to this nut killing people right at the concert. And so, same night. So then the following March, they took him to court. We want the 71 million. Just as Mr. Simpson had a good day. Mm -hmm. I have a picture of that. Wow. Like the captions, because he had it in his life insurance. As in life insurance and trust, you know, because you can't touch it. So wealthy have been doing this for so long, so long. Um, this has been going on since 1913, right? Woodrow Wilson was president, right? And so we're just teaching you, like I said, remember the no family left behind? You got the 95% of America over here, and then you got the 5% over here. We're showing the 95% with the 5% have been doing for over a century. One more question. What is your interest rate on this IUL? The IUL, it depends on the company because they're all different. So nationwide is different trans America and trans America is different from Pacific Life. But I'll bring flyers next time and give them to you. But Trans America has two different indexes. So one index, the cap is 13.75. 13.75. The floor, so you never lose money, is 0.75. Most banks don't even get 0.75. <laughs> Right? So when the market goes negative, all your principal sit there earning at least 0.75. When the That's market's going negative 20, negative 30, mm -hmm. negative 40, right? Like in 2009 uh, and 2007, negative 57 in the SMG, you were sitting there with your principal protected. 
right? And so as uh, Trans America's other index is 15 percent. That's the cap, 15. So when S and P does, you know, 25, you're not getting 25, but you're at least getting 15. You see what I mean? So that's what you're giving up. Give up some of the gains for none of the losses. Could you teach a class on the IUFL next time? That is yeah. astounding. Yeah. I'll bring books. I want a class on the IUFL. <laughs> no, but it's 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 it's, uh, it's life changing, it's, and especially for high income earners who are looking for places to put money to shield from taxes. But everybody's access has access to it. Congress writes tax codes for the entire United States, the entire United States. But. The, the people in Congress are the wealthy. We're the five percent. <laughs> oh, right, laws. they have theirs too. By the way, they take themselves. Right, 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 and they have theirs too. Right, and so thank you. Well, thank you again, Yay! everyone. Yay! And next week we have our uh, famed attorney in the class. Yay! Craig, you, you, do you know your topic yet? I've been I will be talking about cryptocurrency, yeah. crypto assets. Yeah. It is a rock your world, folks. Rock, what's the rock your world? Rock your world. Okay, well, I'm ready to hear that one. Okay, any uh, prayers or concerns? Class, yes, Susie? Yeah. She has, she has, uh, she has mm. okay. All right, let's close with prayer. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for all the words of wisdom that have transpired here today. And I just thank you for your presence in each one of our lives, Lord. And I bless this church, Skyline Church, Lord, here in San Diego, the Mesa area. I just pray that anybody on Zoom, who is still searching and seeking your face and your presence, Lord, in their life, that they will just um, open their hearts, Lord. And I just, I just thank you for your mighty presence in my life and all the blessings that you've given me, Lord. And I pray for those that aren't here. And let's lift up Amy, who's having a uh, intense surgery coming up. And just bless her and put those important people around her uh, with your healing touch, Lord, and miracles to abound going forward, Lord. And again, I thank you for each one of the class members here and pray for, for those who are ill or not able to attend today, Lord, and just help our class to grow, whether on Zoom or on the internet, Lord, because there are people that need to hear this information, Lord. And as we come out of our cocoon in 2022, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See everyone next week. 815 sharp. Come early for coffee. Warm up your throat. Have a good day. God bless. <laughs>